me. So I'm going to answer some questions. Well, one, one question in particular here. Um, and it's simply, why do I do what I do? Why, why do I do YouTube videos? Why do I try my best to do films and gaming videos and TikToks and all the rest of it? Um, I think it all delves down to a number of reasons. One in particular, it makes me happy. I enjoy doing them. I enjoy making TikTok videos. I enjoy making YouTube videos, regardless of people watch them or not. It's something creative. It's something that, you know, some people get, some people don't get. Some people will be like, well, oh, him and his bloody videos. I get that a lot. And, and I know I get that a lot. Or, you know, him and his TikToks, or him and his film, and all this, that, and everything. I know I get that. To them people that say that, I say this. One day I'm going to die. And my children and their children and their children would potentially look back on this and the things that I've done, the content I've created, TikToks, TikTok's still about, even then YouTube, I mean, I'm assuming that they're going to be around for a while. I'm pretty sure YouTube and TikTok are going to be about long after I'm dead. And, you know, death comes for us all and it comes when it chooses to. I could die tomorrow. I could die tonight. And all of a sudden, to my friends and family, I become famous. Because one minute it goes from people saying, oh, him and his bloody YouTube videos, oh, him and his bloody TikTok videos, to, oh, he, he loved making his videos, oh, he liked making his content, oh, he liked doing this, oh, he liked doing that. I really miss him. I'm going to watch all these videos, I'm going to watch this, I'm going to watch that, I'm going to watch this, I'm going to watch that. Suddenly I'm famous. Through them that know me. Could even potentially be famous there and after. So... It, it's hard to put into words why I do what I do. I do it because one day I'm going to die and I want to leave things behind in the form of content that people can look back at and remember me you know and whether like I said whether that's my kids when they're grown up oh look at daddy here you know things like that it also help, as I say it also helps me be happy it helps up here um you know, it gives me something to look forward to doing, like whenever I'm doing a video, or I'm editing, or something big, like a film, or anything like that. It gives me something to look forward to. And, and there's a lot to look forward to in life. I, have, I do have a lot to look forward to in life. I, I enjoy spending time with my kids, my, friend, my friends, my family. I enjoy going out. I, there's lots of things I enjoy doing. But I enjoy creating what I create. Now, whether people think we're cringeworthy, some people think we're funny, some people just don't get it. Which is fair enough, you know, each to their own. Some people like different things, some people don't understand different things. That's fine. The reason for this video is just to clarify why I do what I do. And whether you get it or not, 
whether you understand why I do the things that I do, why I create the content that I create, it still doesn't change me for me. Whether you like me, love me, or hate me. I am who I am, and I do what I do because I can, ultimately, and I enjoy it, and, you know, it could be worse, I could be on OnlyFans, you know, um, but all jokes aside, I, I do it because I enjoy it, I do it because it takes my mind off a lot of the worries I have in life, a lot of the stress that I have in life. A lot of the inner torments that I've had, it, it helps me focus on things. It puts a smile on my face. And like I said, whether people enjoy the stuff that I put out or whether, you know, as I say, they don't like it, they find it cringeworthy, whatever. I do it because I enjoy it. Like I say, I enjoy it. And if other people that watch my content enjoy the things that I do and see the effort that I put into things and can appreciate the creativity to some degree, then it's it's a win. But ultimately, it's to leave something behind when I'm gone. Because, like I said, I could be gone tomorrow. Some people would be happy, you know, probably, that I've gone. We all have haters. Um, obviously, some people would be gutted. But, like, even those that would be upset that I've gone, some of them have even said, Oh, Nathan and his videos. Here he goes again with his videos. I'd be talking to someone and they'd be like, you and your bloody films, or you and your bloody games, or you and your bloody YouTube, or you and your bloody TikTok. It goes on and on and on. But the second I'm gone is the second I'm missed and appreciated the most. The day you die is the day that even your haters love you. Because... They can't hate you no more. They, they, you not, you're not going to continue to do things. To hate them. They're going to hate what you did. And that's it. Those that love you and miss you will forever love you and miss you. And that's it. That's, that's basically the reason why I do what I do. Why I create videos. And like I said, I just wanted to address that because a lot of people have said, oh, why would you do it? What made, what what got you into it? What What's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? I've been like it since I were a kid. But when I was a kid, there was nothing like YouTube or TikTok, anything for me to express my creativity in that sense. And in a way, I guess I was trying to find what my creativeness was when I was a kid. I mean, when, when I was younger, I actually, I did actually do some, like, gaming videos and things like that, but it was actually VHS tapes, believe it or not, before YouTube, before any of that, I was creating gaming videos through VHS, and if you don't know what VHS is, for... Anybody who's watching this like, what the hell is a VHS? It's a video cassette tape, and you would put it into a video player, and it would play films and, and, and so on. A bit like a DVD. And I'm sure you know what a DVD is. It's a disc, okay? Put that in, same thing. Some people don't even know what DVDs are. They're like, whoa, what's a DVD? But yeah. Um, anyway, so... Getting back to the main topic, that is why I do what I do. I've been like it since I was a kid, and you know, it's it's part of my personality. It's part of my quirks, you know. We're each born with our own things. We're each born with our own quirks and.
hobbies and interests. This is just mine, that's all. It doesn't make me any different from being able to hang out with or anything like that. You know, I'm quite happy to go and sit, chill in the pub, have a few pints and a few laughs with you. Just because I'm a content creator doesn't make me... I'm going to correct that. It does make me weird. It makes me different because most people... A lot of people that I know aren't content creators. There's one or two that I know who are on TikTok. But the majority of people I know don't do content creation. There's more and more people getting into it because obviously it's becoming the, the way things go. More and more people are getting onto TikTok, more and more people are getting onto YouTube. You know, I, I dare say nearly everybody's going to be on TikTok at some point or on YouTube or on Twitch, whichever. Streaming, live streaming, gameplay, creating content, creating TikToks, whichever. Um, but yeah, that's that's essentially it. I just wanted to address that question because it's been raised a lot lately, and people are like, "Oh, why did you do it? Well, why do why did you do that? You know, I'll, I'll show them, I'll show them a gameplay video or a film, and they're like, "Oh, why why did you do that?" And they just, they don't get it. Because it's not them. It's not something they've done, or see, or understand, or... Can sort of like wrap their head around like, Oh, why, why would you do that? Why would you do... I don't get it. Like, just, you know, why can't you just go to work and earn money and, and you know, live a normal life? Hey, this is a normal life for me. I am living my life. This is my life, and I choose to do what I want to do. I will create content, I will create TikToks, whether they're cringeworthy, whether they're funny, whether they're silly, whether they're stupid, whether they're sincere, whether they're serious, whatever. I do it because I can, I do it because I enjoy it, I do it because it helps me focus and stay mentally positive, and I do it because it's, it's going to leave something behind, ultimately. And that's, that's something precious to me. Leaving something behind, despite whether it's, yeah, it makes me happy or anything. Having something for my kids to look back at, should I be gone one day, and see the things that I've done, whether it be a gaming video, or my film, or whatever, they can look back on them and smile. And say, that's my dad. They'll be able to see my face, they'll be able to hear my voice. And that's something we don't get with a lot of people that have passed. There's a lot of people out there who only have a photo. Some people only have memories. Some people don't even have that. Some people have lost lives grandparents, parents, brothers, sisters, aunties, uncles. And they can barely remember them. And that's sad. And I think that we should all strive to leave something behind of ourselves that people can look back on and smile. And say, that's my brother. That's my sister. That's my dad. My grandparents, and you'd be able to see and hear them. And you know, because obviously you can, you can forget what people sound like. You can forget what people look like. We have a, a image of people in our minds, and we have photos. And as I say, some people don't even have photos. And that memory slowly starts to alter and distort. And we can't quite get how they sounded. It's the same with my grandma, my nana, my nana Lil. She passed away in 2001. And I can remember what she looked like because I have photos. And she died when I was at the age of, well, I think I was a young kid at the time. Uh, before I was in my teens, definitely, obviously. Um... And she passed away. I can remember 
certain smells. I can remember doing certain things, eating certain foods with her, uh, being at hers, playing with my toys, her dog. But I can't quite get the voice of what she sounded like. I can remember a voice, but I know it's not exactly what she sounded like, if that makes sense. So, yeah, going back to the main thing, I, I do mainly create the things that I do so that my loved ones, my friends, my family, my children, and in years to come, my grandchildren and possibly great-grandchildren can look back and, as I say, see the things that I did and, you know, get to know kind of the person who I was should I be gone. And that's basically it. Um, if you've been one of them people that have questioned why I do what I do, why I create the things I create, I hope I've answered your question. Um, I apologise if this video comes across cringy or like, what is he on about or like that. Again, I go back onto what, my previous statement. But that is it, guys. Um, as I say, I just wanted to address that because a lot of people... I wouldn't say they've, uh, they've been bugging me or doing me, I didn't know it like that, but a lot of people just don't seem to get it or understand, and I just wanted to put that across, and that is all. Um, hope you're all okay, hope you've had a good day. Um, yeah. Take care.